You're a five-star jerk, and you just proved it. Look, I, I knew you would feel this way, okay? I, I knew this going in. Then why did you do it? When you knew it would hurt me. Because it would hurt you even more to stay with that man. David hurts people. That's what he does, okay? Look, this was the right thing to do, Greenlee. It was right. Even though I risked losing you forever, it was the right thing to do, and I would do it again. Why? David stood by me when everyone else abandoned me. The guy is not your hero, Greenlee. He'll never be. He saved my life. What did you do? I loved you. How much is Ryan paying you? Your husband's a criminal. I'm just doing my job. Any word on David? You got anything? I towed his car. So he has to be close by and on foot. We just have to find him. How did you even get here? Your trunk. It wasn't too uncomfortable. Thanks for the lift. You're not welcome. Oh, such coldness. And I thought we were friends. You lied to me, Erica. And you told me that you would get Greenlee to leave Fusion. You double-crossed me. Oh, that's right. And nobody double-crosses Erica Kane. Oh, is that lesson finally sinking in, David? You teamed up with Ryan to throw me in jail. I saved Kendall's life. And this is how you repay me? I did what I had to do. I'm gonna do what I have to do. You're such a coward, David. <laughs> Why is that, Erica? Hmm? Well, I thought you liked this game. Or is that only when I'm being tied up? I'm talking about what you did to me at Wildwit. You let Nurse Gale shoot me just to keep yourself out of prison. I seem to remember signing a confession. After I was lying in a pool of blood. Fake blood. Gail never would have pulled a real trigger, and you know it. I demand you free me. All right, let's see. Exactly how long did you keep me here? Oh, be a man, David. Own up to the crimes you committed. Turn yourself in. I would never turn myself in, Erica. That would be me admitting I lost. And I would never give you or Ryan, or Jake, that kind of satisfaction. Well, if you run, you're only going to make it worse for yourself. Bribing a public official, evidence tampering, body snatching, throwing kidnapping, you've got a pretty hefty jail sentence there. Kidnapping, huh? This is your place, isn't it? Unlawful restraint at best. Now, if I was put in handcuffs in your place, now that would be kidnapped. Oh, that's right. We've already done that. It's over, David. You can joke all you want, but it is over. And it's time you face it. He dragged me to the castle where we got married and held me against my will. I took her someplace safe so she could rest and we could talk. Oh, because you know what's best for me even when I don't. Is that how you keep roping Jake into your schemes? We need to save Greenlee. He's my friend. He was my friend. Jake wants to help you. Help? <laughs> Did Erica want to help me, too? Maybe she thinks I'd be so devastated with David in prison that I would completely abandon Fusion. I'm going to get an update on that manhunt. Don't forget to wrangle up some rabid jaywalkers while you're at it. We need to keep the streets of Pine Valley safe. Who else did you get in on this little takedown? I reject you, and so you get a town full of people to, 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 to get back at me? I would never do that, Grandma. You told me that I was free to live my life and that you wouldn't control me. And then you find out I'm married and you pull this stunt. And I'm supposed to trust you? Anything that comes out of my mouth right now, you're going to think the worst of me, okay? But somewhere deep inside, you must know all the horrible things David has done. Okay, my God! He's responsible for Stuart's death. If David didn't drug Adam, then Stuart would still be alive. You don't know that. I heard about all the people who showed up with the gun that night. Or did you forget bed buddy number one slash my former best friend, Kendall? I mean, she pointed her weapon at Stuart, too. Just admit it, Ryan. You wanted David out of my life, and this is how you were going to do it. I don't want to hurt you, Greenlee. It's the last thing that I want. But I can't let David get away with what he's done to so many people. Look into my eyes and see how much David means to me. If he spends the rest of his life in prison, you're going to regret it for the rest of yours.
you turn yourself in, I'm sure the DA would make a deal with you. <laughs> deal, huh? For saving Greenlee's life? I don't think so. It's the only option you have left. Don't underestimate me, Erica. I always have another option. Not anymore. We both know it, David. Uh, Brian got you. All right. Let me make this perfectly clear. Ryan didn't get me. You did. I figured Ryan would pull something. But when I saw you lying there on the floor, supposedly in a pool of blood, I would have done anything to save your life. I know. I, I saw the look in your eyes. You did. I peeked for a second. I thought you were dying, Erica. And I couldn't let that happen. Then don't hurt me now, David. Let me go. I don't want anything to get worse for you. Erica. What? The 10 million I invested in Fusion. I want it back. Now. Consider this your final notice. I'll do whatever's necessary to protect my husband. Okay, just slow down, slow down. Just take a breath. Take a breath. And let everything sink in, please. Please, just look what you're doing. You're, you're running so hard away from me that you're not even looking where you're going. You don't have the right to care about me anymore. I don't mean to keep pushing you away, and I'm sorry that I'm doing that, but I did what had to be done. Hayward, the man is a plague, and he needed to be contained. <laughs> Do you hear yourself? It's like your judge, jury, and executioner. No, I don't care if he goes to prison or if he stays on the run the rest of his life. As long as he's gone, I'm okay with that. You're okay with screwing up a man's life for revenge in the most underhanded way possible. Hey, look, at Hayward sets the rules. I just played by them, okay? And it worked. I'm done fighting with you. You forgot this. David will never spend one day in prison. And if he has to spend the rest of his life on some faraway beach somewhere, I'll be sitting there watching the sunset right next to him.